Childhood was not meant for us to make it. I'm a black kid, I was born in the 80s. They had it set up for us to die. All the food was gonna kill us. Have you ever eaten fast food three times in a row and washed that shit down with jungle juice for 18 years in a row? You ain't supposed to live after that, but I made it by the grace of God. I'm eating, I'm eating quinoa now and shit. Working out, taking yoga classes and everything. I'm trying to live my best life because I'm a grown up. And I realized being grown ain't shit. No, we waited our whole life to get grown. And as soon as we got grown, we found out being grown ain't shit. And my whole life, I wanted to be a grown ass man. I could not wait. I used to have that shit pictured out in my head. I used to dream about it. I was gonna shave. My voice was gonna change. People gonna call me sir and mister. And most importantly, I was gonna wear grown man clothes. Then I found out I dressed like an old man because <laughs> no sooner than I got grown, these diabolical fashion industry people went and switched up the whole grown man wardrobe. And now they got boys wearing what I like to call little bitty bitch ass clothes. <laughs> Can we say it all together tonight? Little bitty bitch ass clothes. Amen. So if you have your Bible, let's turn to the book of Britches, shall we? <laughs> Fellas, when did all of us agree all the pants was gonna come tight? Super tight. Blood pressure tight, tight. Well, you gotta wear your left ball on your left leg. You gotta wear your right ball on your right leg. Meat gotta ride side saddle across the middle. This ain't enough room in the front for your whole unit. Ladies know what I'm talking about. Y'all be seeing these fat coochie dudes walking around. Camel toe on fleet. Monkey big in his jeans. That is not vagina at all. That, that's balls all bunched up. A little bit of bitch ass britches and I for one don't appreciate it. I waited my whole life to get grown. Then you get in a relationship and you find out they don't like grown men. Ladies don't want no grown man. What a husband's at? Make some noise, you fucking prisoners. Clap. <laughs> Clap, husbands. Make some noise for your shitty ass decision. I see you back there. Hell yeah. What a real OGs. 10 to life, 15 to life. Who in here doing real time? <laughs> Institutionalized. Don't even miss freedom no fucking more. You just stare out the window at what life used to be and watch it pass you by. You used to be a real man out here. Look at you with that handsome ass beard. You used to be one running wild and free in the woods with your shirt off, naked, hair blowing in the breeze. You was a wild stallion and she shot you with that trank dart and drug your ass back to the house. Put a cardigan on you and shit, changed your whole fucking life. You used to be a real man, brother. You used to take real man baths. Think back, fellas, you remember, you remember real man baths. You had real man soap, dial soap, big ass yellow block of soap. You wash your face, you open your eyes, you blind yourself. That was, that was real man soap. And you had wash rags. And they were hard, cause you had nutted in it once or twice, but it still got the dirt off. It, it, it did its job. It was effective. It worked. Until that first night she spent the night at your house. Start shitting on your whole shower operation. <laughs> Mid shower, she in there talking shit. Oh my God, your water is so hard. You like, I didn't even know water could be hard. It's, it's not gravel or no shit like that. It's not no civil rights water hose or no shit like that. It's a fucking shower. <laughs> Go in and out. She like, oh, I'm trying to shower, but your soap is drying me out. I'm wet and I'm dry at the same time. <laughs> the fuck kind of soap is this? Your towels are over exfoliating the shit out of this. She say some bullshit like over exfoliate. You know what that meant. You say some man shit like all I know is if you're going to get out of there, you can do what you came over here for us to do. And she like, nah, fuck that. I'm taking you to the store. I'll buy you some better shower shit. And ever since then, fellas, your ass been bathing gay. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. You have a very effervescent ass bath now, don't you? What you do now when you go in the shower and shit? You put a little Michael Jackson glove on and shit. Grab a little cheerleader pom-pom out of there, don't you? With your sweet ass. Then you fuck with the shower set and get the water on. Put your little dab of body wash on the inside, don't you? Then you check a bitch three or four times. 
to get you some bubbles built up, don't you? Then you luxuriate yourself trying to buff off eight hours of nut funk with lavender and gardenia and shit. It's your honey blossom cucumber melon smelling ass. And is it just me or do it not rinse off all the way? So now you gotta turn your ass to the water and open up. Yeah. Yeah, she done changed your life, brother. You ain't no real man no more. <laughs>